Hey everybody! In today's video, we are going to go back and be kids again with a fun kids art supply that can add beautiful, bright rainbow elements to your cards, but also metallic ones, which I have never seen before. And this was a lot of fun to do to make it work with stamps. To begin with, I'm starting with some Arteza scratch paper. I loved this when I was a kid, and this kit is really great. They even have little postcards so your kids could do scratch art on the back and then send them through the mail. And they come with sanding tools and these little stick scrapers. I thought it'd be fun to figure out a way to use these with stamps to justify my childlike inclinations. So I came up with something fun. Now I cut down a piece of this scratch paper. And like I said, it comes in a big assortment. You can see the metallic shining through that piece. And it comes in a couple different metallic colors that is super dramatic when you scratch it off. So this is one good way to foil, get the foil look without having a foiling machine. So I have that set up in my Misty and I'm going to use the stays on pigment because the surface of this scratch paper is slightly slick. So you will want an ink that's made to stamp on that type of surface. Now this is a new stamp and it's solid, but it has little accent marks on the petals. So you can see since it was brand new, it actually pulled some of the scratch surface off for me. This happens less as you use the stamps, as you'll see in this video, but it was kind of a fun surprise to see that happen the first time that I used this stamp. The ink is slightly sticky too, so that might contribute to it, but it really did most of the work for me. Now I'll take one of the little scratchy tools and I will go around the areas that are meant to be solid on this flower and just scrape off the top so that you can see what that gold looks like underneath. I'll take it out of here so it's a little bit easier to see. But it comes off very easily and just leaves you with something that looks like foil. I know not everybody has a foiling system. There are all kinds of new ones now that are a lot of fun that you can actually use with foiling dies. And then there's the kind that you can use with your laminator, but a lot of people just don't have that. So this is kind of a fun alternative to use with your stamps. I'm leaving the little areas that would normally be white if you were stamping this in ink and they'll be black on the scratch paper. So I'm sort of reversing the image by using this. And what I do is I just go around each area that's going to stay black first, and then I scratch off whatever remains. So I'll take a brush. I like to have a brush around when I'm doing this and just remove the extra scratched off stuff. So you can see how shiny that is. You can actually see me in there just for a second, which that's kind of a fright. But now I want to show you the rainbow one because this is so much fun. I'll do the exact same thing. Just leave the stamp set up in my Misty and stamp the flower. And you'll see that it's a lot less sticky this time. Oh, I didn't leave the stamp set up in my Misty. What was I thinking? I also didn't clean it. Ignore all that. But you'll see that it won't pull off as much of the scratch this time. So if you're just taking your stamps out of the package for the first time, that will happen. But the second time, it really doesn't. Just at that very edge there where you can see a little bit of that pink. So again, I'll do the same thing. I go right up next to the little accent mark first. So I kind of know where that is when I'm scratching. It's kind of easy to lose your place if you don't do that first. And then I'll just go around the edges. And you can get pretty fine detail with whatever little tool you're using. You could use a toothpick. You could use one thing that I think would work really well is that quick stick pickup tool because it has the plastic insert that has a very, very fine point on it. And I think for doing details like this, it would be great to get in there with a little bit smaller point. 
Now, the rainbow pattern runs a certain way across the paper, and you'll see that more prominently in the next project that I'm going to show you. So you can get a feel for which way the rainbow runs on the pieces of paper. They're 9 by 12. And then you can do your design accordingly. But look how beautiful that is against the black. I just love that. And it has a slightly glossy surface underneath. So I'm going to try something a little bit different this time so that I can really show you the rainbow pattern. And I'm using some 3M post-it tape because it has a very light tack and I don't want to pull the scratch surface off. So I will put the tape down in a little stripe. And you'll see what I mean about the way the pattern runs and you only getting part of it. But here are the two flowers that I completely scratched off through the magic of television. And this little stick that comes with it, I think the, the Teflon bone folder would work, but it does have a thicker end. So if you're doing a larger area like I'm going to do, then that comes in super handy. So I'll speed this up so you can see that going vertically, I'm really just getting that one section with the green and the yellow with a tiny bit of that pinkish purple. So I'll take the tape off and I'll go the other direction so you can see how the pattern runs. Take that tape off and I'll give you another stripe. There we go. So now you get the full rainbow pattern going across the bottom. And that's very easy to do and very easy to figure out which way the pattern's running. You can also kind of just look at the edge of the paper and you can see which side is the pink side and which is the green after you've cut it. The rest of the area, you don't have to worry about it coming off easily. This, I even mailed myself one to make sure it lasted through the mail. And here is the finished project lineup. These are all new stamps, and I have them linked below for you in the video description. And I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching.